hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Charmaine and this is your first time visiting thank you so much for stopping by if it's not your first time visiting thanks for coming by thanks for checking out my page today I am going to be showing you how to press this image on your pillowcase okay this is a learning pillow everybody be working with um but I do have something to say if you I did do a video on already on how I designed a pillowcase but I just found out that it did not work okay let me show you why it didn't work i'm gonna upload it real quick this is something i, I got this image um somebody made this free so i can't get this out to you because somebody made it for free somebody gave it to me for free off another site okay but let me show you what the one i let me show you the one i created on the um video that i already uploaded so i hope y'all watch this video before y'all print it out because i just learned i just basically tried to print it out and let me show you um, what I did was I went ahead and sized it. This is it right here. And I sized it, but the, the pillow was 16 by 16. So I put 16 right here by 16. Okay. And look at that. The basically the words stretched. So what I did wrong was I did create this in silhouette and I tried to do it in Cricut also. What you need to do is make sure your box is 16 by 16 before you, um, do anything make, make your box everything was right in the video except for the size i made it make it the box a 16 by 16 this outside box the big one the square make it a 16 by 16 and then measure these to fit inside of it because if you stretch it out see how it looks you can't see it's stretched out too big when, it, when you stretch out the 16 by 16 it's too big and it stretches out the word so you cannot see it so let me show you my print how it looked after i printed it see you can't really you can see the letters a little bit but you can't see this okay so i just found this out i was about to do the video showing you how to press it on your press this on your um on your pillow and i figured i found out i didn't do it the correct way okay so let me show y'all how to do it the right way okay everything was right in the video but you just have to make sure this box right here is a 16 by 16 whatever size your pillow is make that box first and then you merge your images in side of this box and stretch them so they can fit and then that's when it will print the right way okay so i'm gonna have to delete i mean the design is okay so when you did the design already just go into quick silhouette and ungroup it before you um just ungroup it and just make the box bigger and then just basically just um bring these images back in the reason why i can't ungroup this is because it's a screenshot okay screenshot so i can't do that um so i'm just going to delete that because it's no good but you can make yours better so i'm going to go ahead and add this to the video i made before and hopefully you can you will see this before you print it and you can just ungroup it i make this a part two to the video one and i'm gonna just um add it onto youtube okay so i'm not going to be printing out the same one i designed because i don't have time to go look for it and do it all over again you just know just make your box bigger make your box 16 by 16 and then merge these squares and stuff in and do it that way okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use the one i already have because it's already ready and set um i'm on my way to work so i'm not able to do it i'm gonna get this video off before y'all start printing stuff out because i already put the video on youtube okay but you should be able to see that you can already see those words i'm gonna go ahead and put his name back in here real quick so i'm gonna go back to a to the text then just put his name just basically make sure it to drag in so if your pillow is about 16 by 16 your your um images all should be around you know 5.3 by 6.2 okay some of them should be about that side this one a little bit wider so just spread them out and make it fit in that 16 by 16 box or whatever size your pillow is okay so i put his name in there okay so now i'm gonna just make sure my paper sizes the paper size i have right now is going to be the um 17 by 17, um, I'm just gonna say 17.5. Go ahead and put 17.5 by 17. So let me show you my printer. Look at that baby. I did a video on how to how um, um edit the um, ink and everything, edit the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back, bring you back up so you can see how I set the um print. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go to file, and I showed this to you in the other video also. Let me bring it, bring it up a little bit so you can see file, print, setup, and it's on right printer. Everything looks good. Yep, in the landscape. 
okay it don't matter because it's the same size then I go to print then I go to um, layout I go to print settings make sure everything looks good in here I have the um, Epson SC5 F500 printing settings I got the 17 by 24 roll paper everything looks good here if you can see that let me just go close so you can see that because when I first got this printer I was confused on how to do it so um just, just make sure all this is the same and then you basically download the drivers in your printer whatever um you download the drivers in your computer whatever you're using I'm using a Mac book so I had to download the drivers and then it basically um you got to put it going to your settings right here down here at the bottom if you can see that right here and then you make sure it's in there you're good to go I got the quality um high speed is off and i'm going ahead and print you don't have to mirror anything it's already a telemetry printer so you don't have to flip it or nothing it just prints so now i'm just going to wait for it to print oh there it is so it's printing and it's going to be coming out i don't know if you can see that sorry about my son coughing in the background he's not feeling good okay it's printing out right now as you can see um, and like I said, I'm going to label this video part one. So you can watch this video first. And then you can see how I print everything. And then you go back to the other video. See how I how I um how I um designed it. Because now you know when you design it from this video, you know to make sure you make your box 16 by 16 instead of uh, I don't know what size I made it in the other video, but I made it small and I just stretched it out and I shouldn't have did that because you won't be able to see the print. So you won't make the same mistake and, and do all that for nothing but like I said you'll be okay as long as you don't print it out first but you can always ungroup it and stretch it out and do it over but I don't want you to go through all that like I just did I still wasted a lot of paper well so now I can see the image compared to the other one okay see how good that looks now let me show you much better y'all much better compared to the first one I did this is the this is the one I did and I did like I said I never designed anything this big because of my printer and my um my heat press is not this big so i had no i didn't know okay so i'm gonna let you know from the get go i didn't know that i was gonna be doing it wrong but i know when you sometimes when you stretch out images that they don't they don't get their full image i knew that but i just didn't think about that until now after i made the image the size i wanted to because on the other video that i made i didn't make the image this big i just designed it and i left it like it was but then i noticed it when i was about to do this video i noticed it that i stretched it it didn't work so let me show you how the other image look okay and you can't see anything you can't see it okay so i'm gonna throw this away and i'm like i said this is the image that i designed but now i already told you before to stretch it out before you design it this one i cannot give to you because somebody did this free but you can make your own okay and i'm gonna go ahead and cut this box out and cut this out around the white okay my pillowcase right here 16 by 16 what you need to do is if you have a zipper unzip it first so the zipper won't get stuck okay inside when you melt so you want to melt the zipper and make sure the zipper is hanging off okay and i'm glad i chose this one because it has a white background so if the other one had color so it would show color in here then we'll be white around the edges so it's a good way good thing to get a white background because you know white do not sublimate so it won't be off that i'm off a little bit off of this because i'm going to bring this up some so the zipper won't be in the heat press and it's gonna be white right here so it's cool because it's a white border so it'll match okay so i'm glad that I um did that too. And if you don't have a heat press that's this big, I mean if you don't have a um printer, it's like I have a big printer like I have, you can just basically cut the image in half. And I showed you that already how to do that on that um video, okay? So you don't have to have a big printer to do this. You cut it right in half. You just gotta do the make sure you don't do the make the same mistake I did. So I make mistakes, I'm not perfect. And I apologize for that. So hopefully y'all see this video. And y'all will stretch y'all um, stuff out before y'all print it. But you should be able to tell that it's not going to work by looking at it. You see the words are too tiny and you stretch it out. I'm not repeating myself over again. But I just want y'all to hopefully get that before y'all do y'all own video. I don't want y'all messing up y'all pillowcase before y'all press it. When y'all press it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press this a little bit to get the moisture out. About, about five seconds. Okay. So I got this from Amazon. It's like a silky material. Sat, um... Um, satin because it's 100 percent polyester okay okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my image on here and like i said it's white so it should it's cool make sure i get all this in line it up real good 
that whole thing in there. Yeah, I should have made the image a little bit smaller, y'all. I'm just goofing up all the way around this video. I'm just goofing up. I should have made it a little bit smaller, at least a half an inch, because like I said, it's a it's a white border, so it wouldn't matter. I'm just goofing up, y'all, but it's gonna be okay. Oh, going it. Ugh. I made a lot of mistakes, y'all. But I'm not gonna do this video over. You are learning from my mistakes, okay? This is too much doing in a video over. Basically, next time, do not make your image the same size as the pillowcase, doof diff, doofus. The reason why I didn't make it a smaller pillowcase because I was using color before. But when I changed the image to make it with a white background, you can make it as small as you want to. You can make it a 14 by 14 if you want to because the the border is a white border, so it will still go. But if you're using color, you need to make sure you have the image the same color, the same size as the pillowcase because if you have like a blue border, you gotta make sure you make the same size as the pillowcase. The image had to be the same size as the pillowcase because your pillow is white. You don't want that white to show. So that was my mistake again. I'm just goofing up all around, but I'm not gonna do this video over. Um, yes, the, the, um, these words won't come off, but it's for my nephew, so it's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and press this for 400 for um, 60 seconds. I'm not selling this, so now I know how to do my next one. If I do sell them, I know how to do my next one, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to show y'all what I know and not show y'all what I don't know so y'all will make the same mistakes. If you like the content of this video, please um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, hit that red bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Also, check out my Facebook group. Oh, always let it go a little bit over. Um, Brown Girls Cry for Cricket. Let's see if I burn the pillow, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. The whole square triangle fit in there. Okay, let's see. Let's refill it, y'all. Let's see what I did. Oh my goodness. I didn't do too bad, y'all. Oh my goodness, I didn't know them crayons was gonna fit in there, but they fit in there. Let me show y'all. Look at this. This paper is amazing because it still have all, look at this. The ink is still on here. Okay, but I wouldn't have pressed it any longer because it would have burnt. But this is just the paper. This is Epson paper. So you can, I tried to use the paper over again and it didn't work. So yeah, but yeah, it's amazing. Look at this pillowcase, y'all. I did good because like I said, now I make sure this is the zipper works. It's not melted. Okay, that's, yeah, it's not melted. But look, I did go. I did come off a little bit up here. See, um, where the zipper part is at. I got the little A, B, and C. Didn't it didn't show? I didn't have to really show y'all close up, but I'm gonna show y'all my mistakes. Okay. Everything else did good though. Everything else did wonderful. Like, even this side, cause that little it was a little bit red border over there, so that did good. Everything did good except for A, B, C, <laughs> A, B, C, D, E. Okay. This even came up right. Even if it was some words under there, you can't really tell because it didn't show the words. So that did good. It was another layer of words, but that's fine. Um, the numbers all got up there, all showed up, and then the pink, halfway pink, but at least you still see the pink, okay? Okay, I'm happy about this for my little nephew. He'll be satisfied, just don't, won't be able to see the A, B, C, D, E. The pillow inside of here. Okay, I'm, I'm happy about how it turned out. And then after I printed it, I seen that I put his, his name was in center. I don't know why, I must have bumped it, but the name could have went down a little bit more too, but... Okay, y'all. So, okay, let me turn this heat press off because it is hot in here. And I am done for today. I've been heating up some stuff. I did some masks earlier. Getting these videos out, y'all. Getting my orders and my videos out. Y'all, I love this pillow. Look at this. Look at this. I love it. And next time, I, like I said, it'll be okay if I bring it in. Um, this is a 16 by 16 pillow, so I might next time I do a 15 by 15 and bring it in, you won't even tell that the border is fine. The border is fine, okay? It'd be okay to have a border, a white border around this whole image, okay? And that'd be fine. So next time, if you have a if you have a pillow and you're doing white, just do it, do an inch in. Like I said, I'm gonna, next time my, my image is gonna be 15 by 15 and it's gonna be perfect. Here's the back and here's the front. I love it, y'all. If you don't wanna design this yourself, let me do it for you. Go to my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique number two. It will be in the description bar below. And I will be selling these. These are so cute. I love this uh, fabric of this pillow. It's so nice and silky. My my um, nephew would love it, even though it's white. But you can take this off and wash it. The pillow came from um, S. I mean, the pillow came from um, Amazon, and the pillowcase came from Amazon. And I will put that link below. Excuse my messy craft room, y'all. I've been working, working. I've been working, working. Please excuse my craft room. I've been working, working. But oh, I love it, y'all. My first pillow I made. Mm. And, I'm, and I also 
sew pillows so i can um I'm, i can make this myself sew it up and um then sublimate it but make sure it's 100 percent polyester fabric okay i might do it. let me know if you want to see me uh, do it do it let me know if you want to see me a, let me know if you want to see me do a video of sewing a pillowcase without the zipper it's going to be one of the flip pillows you just basically um with a zipper so let me know because i know how to do that too matter of fact let me show you a pillowcase that i've made okay this is the pillowcase i already did it's a 16 by 16 also what i mean by flip see how this is instead of a zipper you just basically flip it like this and you put the pillow in there and you close it like this i can't think of what it's called but yeah but i made i just i, I sold this y'all i learned how to sew on that when we had the um pandemic and i was home for work for like three months got me a sewing machine i learned how to sew and how to embroider so check out my embroidery videos and i haven't did any videos about uh, sewing yet but i can do this and i'm also going to make some bonnets okay so stay tuned to my channel i have so much more to come like i said again i, I apologize so much about how i messed up that pillow on my other video but hopefully y'all see this video first until next time be blessed Thank you.